I'm Heather and welcome back to Heather Space. Now today I am going to share a little sofa hack for you if you have cats that scratch your furniture, keep watching. Sorry I haven't been around for a few weeks, um, I haven't really got an excuse, I just had a bit of a creative block going, my productivity went down to absolute zero. I thought about making a video about my creative block but then I couldn't think of a creative way to do it so I gave up, had a little break, I'm back. And today's project is worth the wait, I promise. So we have had pet cats for years, um, we only have one cat now, Lily, and she likes to scratch my furniture, in particular this sofa. Her favourite spot is to sit on the sofa arm and scratch down the front. And so this edge of the sofa got frayed and tattered and really horrible and tired looking but we didn't want to replace the whole sofa because well a we haven't got enough money to do that and b it's in absolutely fine nick otherwise and to be honest i just thought that lily would probably scratch the new sofa anyway so what's the point so i wanted to come up with a way to sort of patch up and tidy up these edges without having to completely replace the sofa or go for sofa covers and i came across an idea of using doilies to do this so I ordered a job lot of um, antique doilies from eBay, like these. Um, they came in sort of a variety of different shades, some were white, some off-white, some sort of creamy colour. I picked out seven or eight of those and I decided that I would dye them um, grey to better match the sofa so that they just blended in a little bit more. I used Dylon's Pewter Grey fabric dye, um, mixed it all up stirred in the doilies that I wanted to colour um, and then I just left them in for different amounts of time because I wanted to have a variety of shades of grey to sort of create a bit more depth um, and to show off the patterns of each one. So once that was done and those doilies were dry I gave them a quick iron and then I chose three or four for each arm and I just used pins to sort of pin them in place to get an arrangement that I liked had to sort of fold them um, over a little bit or gather them together neatly at the corners. And then I just pinned them into place, kept moving them around, they overlapped a bit just to cover the worst damaged areas. Once I was happy with that, all I had to do was take a needle and thread and sew them into place. Um, I went round the circumference of each of the doilies um, and then I sort of did some across the middle of them just to make sure that they were really secure and not sort of going to flap loose from the side. If um, your cat has scratched your sofa so much that you can see like the white base underneath, then I think you would probably want to patch it with um, a plain fabric first before you put the doilies on top. So I guess just get a square of plain fabric that's as close a match as possible, sew that on and then you can add the doilies. And I have to admit it was a little fiddly, but I'm not the best sewer in the world, but I was in all sorts of crazy sewing positions. I was upside down, I was on the floor, I felt like I was sewing back to front at one point, all a bit mad. And it wasn't the quickest job in the world, it took me at least an hour, maybe an hour and a half to do one of these arms. Um, but I am really pleased with how it looks now it's finished. I also used another couple of techniques to neaten up the fabric. It was a bit bobbled, so I used a razor to take off the bobbles. I'd heard about doing that for jumpers, so I tried it on here and it did work. And then for any sort of loose threads coming off, I just took my embroidery scissors and trimmed those off, a bit like giving myself a haircut, I guess. But it's definitely neatened up those damaged edges. Um, the sofa looks much better, much neater. Um, I obviously don't know whether Lily, our cat, will scratch these too, but I guess if she does, I'll just have to replace them. And I think they're a really good solution for damaged bits of furniture. I think they would work just as well on a chair or a footstool, or even if you just had a stain that you wanted to cover. If you want to see some more um, photographs and an actual written tutorial, then it's all on my blog, www.growingspaces.net. As always, if you have liked this video, please give me the thumbs up. Um, there are lots more videos like this on my channel, Heather Space, so do head over there and subscribe. And I will be back soon, if not next week, then the week after. Bye.